Hello, this is the Mainland Heathen. I'm speaking about the Steve Wilco show and Steve Wilco's. Wilco's is a product of Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer don't have, hold the candle to Steve Wilco's and his bullshit. I remember Springer when he first came out. He was a true intellect. He was on the level of people like uh, Dick Kemp. But in order to make profit, he had to turn his show way into the extreme. Now, Jerry Springer don't hold a candle to Wilco's. Steve Wilco's is all about preying on people's problems to make himself and his show multi-billions of dollars. Wilkos has become extremely rich off of the problems of the molested child, the abused wife, the abused spouse, Family victims of murder. He's all about, like most cops, in his case, an ex cop. He's all about the lie detector test, which is an inadmissible in court in most of the states of the United States and of America. Wilco's couldn't cut it as a Marine. Wilco's couldn't cut it as a Chicago police officer. So, he ended up getting his own show and becoming extremely rich. But, how does Wilco's get rich? Wilco's and his show gets rich by praying off of the problems people in the life's most worst circumstances. Victims of rape. Victims of child abuse. Horrible, torturing child abuse. Wilco say nothing more than a sack of shit. He needs to be put off the air. Wilco needs to go to prison. He has been like at least 25 years in the state penitentiary for ripping off this nation of its money, extortion. Let's see how that ex Chicago City cop makes it uh, in the shower room of state penitentiary having 25 guys on top of him and he'd be in their little sex toy 